Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. Sure you want to have some coffee? No, thanks. I gotta run home and get Jerry's breakfast. I tell you, Laura, I'm so proud of my Jerry. Imagine, with all the dentists in the area, they picked him to represent Westchester County at the convention. Mm, Atlantic City for the whole weekend. All expenses paid. I'm gonna send everybody we know saltwater taffy. Oh, you don't have to do that. I do. Listen, that sticky taffy brings Jerry a lot of dental work. Oh. <laughs> it's just one of the little ways that makes me feel a part of his career. <laughs> well, I gotta go. Boy, you know, when it rains, it pours. We don't go anywhere for months, and this weekend we got two places to go. Yeah, that's right. You were supposed to go to your sister's cottage at Lake Sissy Manunu. Yeah, well, Lake uh, Sissy Manunu is going to have to wait. Yeah. I'd offer the cottage to you and Rob, but... Yeah, well, well why don't you? Because I know what Rob will say. What do you mean? Well, we've offered the place to you three different times, and Rob just doesn't seem to want to go. That's not so. It is. Every time we ask him to go up there, he gets sick, so he can't go. Gee, I never noticed that. Well, I didn't either, but Jerry did. Jerry says it's psychological. He says that for some hidden reason, Rob doesn't really want to go up there, so he gets sick just to get out of it. Jerry figured that out, huh? Oh, yes, he's very deep. He's also very wrong. Oh, no, listen, some husbands will do anything to get out of going away alone with their wives. Well, not Rob. Rob and I have been alone together many times. Alone, alone. Billy, now stop that. Anyway, where did Jerry learn so much about psychiatry? Well, every morning on the train, he plays gin rummy with a psychiatrist. <laughs> Between Scarsdale and 125th Street, a lot soaks in. Yeah. Well, I think Jerry's diagnosis is silly. Well, why don't you ask Rob if he wants to go? And if Jerry's wrong, you could have a nice weekend free. Well, thank you. I think I will ask him. Oh, my gosh, that's Jerry now. He gets so cranky before he's had his breakfast. I'll call you before I leave. <laughs> Psychological. Darling, come on, you'll be late for work. Morning, honey. Good morning. What's for breakfast? I got some new cereals. What you got? It's the treasure chest assortment. You can have Weedy Wow Wows, Ricey Rumbles, Sesame Sweeties, or Corny Cuties. <laughs> no barley bookers? No, Richie ate them. Listen, how about some cornflakes? Cornflakes? <laughs> what a silly name for a cereal. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have some of them corn flakes. Say, darling. What, honey? How would you like to go away this weekend? What you got in mind? Well, I thought we could drive up to Lake Sissy Manunu. Why? What's the matter? I almost ate a fire engine. Oh, that's a surprise. Richard's been waiting for this. You want to drive all the way up there for the weekend? Yeah, I'd, I'd really love it, darling. Wait a minute, here's a little ladder. Oh. <laughs> Awful far drive for just for a weekend, honey. Yeah, well, I thought we could, you know, start out maybe Friday and have Mrs. Snyder come and stay with Richie. Oh, Rob, it'd be so much fun. Just the two of us alone at a nice, quiet lake, huh? Well, that just sounds perfect, honey. If I'd had a little advance notice, I don't get through work till Friday night. Well, suppose you took Friday off. I can't do that, honey. I gotta finish the show and polish it up. I got a lot of odds and ends. Well, can't Buddy and Sally take over for you? Well, that wouldn't be fair. Fair? Rob, you've been working for the Alan Brady Show for eight years. I think you're entitled to take one Friday off. Honey, I have taken many, many Fridays off, but I planned it in advance. I just can't walk out in Buddy and Sally at the last minute. Okay. You, you understand that, don't you, honey? Yes, I'm afraid I do. Well, what do you mean by that? Nothing. All right. Come on, honey. If something's bothering you, tell me what it is. Well, it's just that I get the distinct feeling, Rob, that you don't want to go away with me. Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard of, honey. What gave you an idea like that? Well, for the last three times that we've had the chance to go up there, you've backed out each time. That just is not true. It is so. Remember the first time you had that cold? And then remember the second time you broke out in that mysterious rash? I can't help it if I get sick, honey. That's a coincidence. Was it just a coincidence? Honey, who have you been talking to? <laughs> Millie. 
And Jerry is the fellow that came up with the diagnosis, right? Well, all I know, Rob, is that you and I never get away alone together anymore. We have been alone three times this year, away. Yeah, not alone, alone. What do you mean, alone, alone? Like, like up at the lake, a place where there'd be no one around for miles. Just you and me, alone, alone. You think I wouldn't like that? I'd love that. You say you love it, but the point is we never do it, do we? Well, no, I guess not. not. You'd, really, you'd really love to do that, wouldn't you, honey? Oh, Rob, I'd love to. Consider it done, then. Oh, yes. darling, that's <laughs> wonderful. Oh, boy, a whole weekend of fun together. <laughs> it's going to be more than a weekend of fun together. I want to prove to you once and for all that I want to be alone with you so badly that I'm willing to go up there by myself. <laughs> Good. What are you gonna do for your next number? <laughs> Boy, I got a beauty coming on. Ugh. Boy, you have. Where'd you get that cold? Oh, last night, Herman Glimsher and I went to a drive-in movie. Got a cold smooching, huh? Not smooching. His mother breathed on me, and I got it. <laughs> mother? You mean El Bago went along? Of course. With Herman, it's a package deal. <laughs> Boy, that's a terrible head cold. Mm. You know how to keep a head cold from going down your chest? No. Tie a knot in your neck. Oh, oh. Hi, Sal. Hi, buddy. Well, look who showed up. Oh, good morning, Rob. Have a cold? Oh, thanks. I think I'll use this one. <laughs> Say I have a cold. What else? Yeah, well, just stay away from me today, will you? Breathe downwind. Oh, come on. Is that a nice way to talk to a girl with a deviated septum? <laughs> I'm not kidding. If I catch a cold today, my wife's gonna think I hate her. Uh, you gotta explain that, right? Well, yeah, I will. In just a minute. First, I have a favor to ask you two guys. Name it. I, I want tomorrow off. Friday? Sure, we'll cover for you. Yeah, no problem. Now, what are you getting my cold? Well, this weekend, Laura and I have a chance to go up to Lake Sissy Manunu. Lake Sissy Manunu? <laughs> At this time of year? Why, it'll be at least three months before the Manunus are in bloom. Hey, Rob, if you're really going up there, stop by for a chicken dinner at Camp Cock-a-Doodle-Doo. Hey, isn't that where you pluck your own chicken? Hey, listen, Rob, so I want... stay away from me, really. I mean it. I got to stay in perfect health. But why do you have to be so healthy for a weekend at Lake Minnehoo-ha-ha? Look, you remember the time that I got that bad cold and mm. I was... I was laid up for about 10 days. Mm -hmm. That weekend, we were supposed to go up to the lake. So? The next time we were invited up to the lake, I, I got the rash and hives. Rash and hives do a wonderful act. I caught them on a pallet. Oh, theater. come on. <laughs> well, really, it's for 10 days. Oh, well, I still don't get it. Just suffice to say that for the sake of my marriage, I've got to stay perfectly healthy this weekend. Well, I don't know. You look pretty health no, healthy. Hold it! <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you come up now, Rob. It's all over. No, it isn't. It's just the beginning. What do you mean? I'm stuck. My back. I can't straighten up. <laughs> You're kidding. Your back is stuck? No, I, Sally Sneeze has just sprained my marriage. <laughs> Sally, I mean, wait. You don't want to catch your cold, too. I can settle for double pneumonia right now. Oh, boy, I can't straighten up. Oh, but you know, Laura's gonna kill me. Why did I have... You know something? Maybe she's right. Maybe I wanted to sprain my back. I th what am I gonna do now? Well, you can always do Groucho Marx. <laughs> oh, Rob, come on, come on now. Just try easy. Try standing now. Come on. Oh, Hello, Marge. Marge, would oh. you send Tony Daniels in here? Yeah, he's rehearsing down the oh, hall. Oh, Rob, yeah, Rob, come on now, now. Think standing. Think up. I am, but my back's thinking down. <laughs> That's no use. I can't straighten up. Are you still in pain, Rob? Oh, no. No. No, I'm way past pain. <laughs> I didn't cry like so. Now, don't worry. I've sent for Tony Daniels. Who needs a choreographer at a time like this? <laughs> yeah, but he's a dancer, and he straightens out the other dancers when they get cramps and uh, sprains. He'll know what to do. Take here. it easy, What's Rob. What's up, gang? Uh, nothing is up. Rob's down. So well, what he, happened to him? He hurt his back when I sneezed. <laughs> he hurt his back when she sneezed. Yeah, some kind of gag, right? No, oh. it's no gag. Look, he can't straighten up. No, I threw my back out. Tony, would you see what you can Go do with yeah, it? Yeah, sure, Rob. Sure, man. Uh, are you in pain now? But, no, not really. No, this is amazing. What? 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 Rob, you're going to have a baby. <laughs> Tony, I'm 
spasm. Here, help, help, help me get him on the door. All right, here. Okay. okay. I'll get out of this side. All right? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, 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 what's the matter? Oh, move the pen set. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> now, tell me, does this hurt, Bob? No, no. no. Good. Now, now, buddy, Sally, you grab his knees. Knees? Yeah. Yeah. Now, when I count three, you press down on his legs with a snap. Yes. Oh, boy. No, 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 don't worry, Bob. No, I've done this before. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, you ready, gang? Yeah. Okay, now, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bend. You mean now you're stuck like that straight up? Yeah. Well, can't you do something, Tony? Yeah, I'd be afraid to. You mean I gotta stand up straight like this all day? Yeah, until the muscle spasm relaxes. I'd see a doctor before you go home, Rob. Oh, boy, there goes the weekend. Oh, well, maybe it's only temporary. Maybe it's only psychosomatic. Why'd you say that? Well, the way you've been talking about it, you don't seem too enthused about going. But that's not true. I'm going to that. I'm going up to that lake this weekend. I want to have fun if it kills me. <laughs> in a sitting position? Look, no, don't unbend him. He can go up to the lake just like this. How do you figure that? We stick you in a golf bag and ship you express. Oh, Billy, it's gonna be so romantic, just Rob and me alone together. There's a fireplace, and my sister said there's plenty of wood in the shed. Oh, great. Laura, you really think you're gonna make it this time? Oh, I know we will. I really think the cold and the rash were coincidence. I mean, I don't mean to knock Jerry, but I think I know Rob a little better than he does. I hope so. Jerry thinks there's something fishy going on in everybody's subconscious. Well, he happens to be wrong this time. Maybe so. I gotta go. Okay. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Hi there, Millie. <laughs> hey, Don, you uh, dropped your hat. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Wrong? Wrong? What could be wrong with me? Well, you're standing so stiff and straight. Well, it's uh, National Stand-Up Stiff and Straight Week. <laughs> you don't look so well, Rob. Do I want you to sit down? Sit? What have I got to sit about? <laughs> Your back is out again, isn't it? You can't sit down. Oh, my, Jerry may be right. It may all be in your mind. Forget Millie, I have no pain in my mind. <laughs> Honey, I went to an orthopedist this afternoon. Oh, my, Jerry is smart. He is deep. Listen, Rob, if your back should suddenly feel better, you let me know about the cottage. Well, I'll let you know. That Jerry is so deep. <laughs> Not deep, he's thick. Well, I guess we just canceled the weekend, huh? Look, honey, you, you don't think it's because I don't want to be alone with you, do you? I just don't know what to think, Rob. Well, will you believe me? It has nothing to do with you. As a matter of fact, I got this whole sprain back because I love you. You're going to have to explain that. Sally's got uh, this cold, and, and, and uh, to keep from getting a cold, I sprained my back. Jerry was right. You don't want to go away with me. Honey, I didn't want it to happen. Honey, it was just a plain accident. See, Jerry says there are no such things as accidents. Well, I know that theory, too, and it doesn't apply here. I want to be alone in the woods with you. <laughs> well, maybe you do consciously, but subconsciously you rebel at the prospect. It's my subconscious loves you just as much as my conscious. Maybe more. Look, Rob, all I know is that all somebody has to do is mention that lake and you go into shock. What? Jerry was right. Honey, I studied psychiatry on the same train with the same doctor that Jerry did. Oh, I even went a few extra stops with him, as a matter of fact. I'm going to tell you something. I got a real back ache. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. Does it hurt very much? Well, it's going to be a little while before I can tie my shoes or even see them. Jerry may be right. I a cold and then the rash and all this. Darling, can I get you something? Yes, you can. A cup of tea? No, thanks. I'd rather have a phone book. Well, who are you going to call? I'm going to call Phil. Phil who? Dr. Philip Nevins, the psychiatrist on the train. You're going to call a psychiatrist? That's right. Why? To talk. Well, can't you talk to me? Honey, you and I have been talking already, and my backache is not gone. You're just not sufficiently trained to tell me if it's psychosomatic or not. But, Rob, isn't that kind of drastic? I mean, going to see a psychiatrist? Honey, what are you afraid of? Well, I'm afraid you might find out that there's something wrong with us, and I don't want to find that out if there is, and there probably isn't, but there might be a 
show, Rob. Don't call. The orthopedist told me that there is nothing organically wrong with my back at all. Now, that may mean that Jerry is right. I got to find out. I got to talk to a psychiatrist. Well, what are you going to tell him? Well, I don't know. Are you going to talk about us? How do I know? <laughs> I'll just kind of talk and whatever pops out of my sensory band from my subconscious through to my conscious. That's all. Hey, give me the phone. Oh, Rob. <laughs> Looks like I don't want to be alone with my wife, doesn't it? To whom does it look that way? It looks that way to my neighbors and to my wife. And I'll tell you something, it's beginning to look that way to me, too. What do you think, Phil? What do you think? Well, I, I thought I'd come over here and find out what you think. What I think doesn't matter. It's what you think. Well, what I think you think? No, it's you think you think. Well, I don't know what to think. I don't even know what to say, Phil. Just say anything that pops into your mind. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, uh, shall I lie down? You don't have to lie down. You can sit. No, I can't. <laughs> this, this is it. You can have me vertical or horizontal, but there's no angles in there at all. Well, which do you prefer, Rob? Well, I don't lie down, I guess. Huh? The best psychiatry shows on television recommend the couch, don't they? Help yourself. Okay. Listen, Phil, the uh, <laughs> least painful way of doing this is going to seem a little bit silly to you. Who's to say what's silly? By gosh, that's the truth. Would you take me by the neck, Phil? The neck? Yeah, a good, a good firm hold oh, there. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. You're comfortable? Yeah, I'm fine, fine. How about your legs? Oh, would you, would you get my yeah, neck? Yeah, sure. Ah, okay. Oh, thanks a lot, Phil. Okay. Well, uh, what do we uh, do now? Just kind of just talk? Mm-hmm. Uh, Whatever comes to my mind, huh? Yeah. Free association, that's what. Just uh, by kind of thinking out loud, huh, I may hit the key to the whole mess, right? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, all right. Well, I don't think that I'm afraid to, to be alone with my wife. I, I, as a matter of fact, I think I'd love that. The thing keeps running through my mind is Lake Sissy Manunu. Is that about the silliest name for a lake you ever heard in your life? You think it's silly? Well, sure. Don't you think it's silly? Why? Well, I don't know. It's just silly. That's all. You say, say it over a couple of times. Sissy Manunu, Sissy Manunu. It's just, it's just silly. Well, I'll bet that lake is probably could be my whole problem. What do you bet? What do you think? I don't know. Sissy Manunu, it probably means sissy could be sister, or it could mean cowardly. And Manunu, which is probably an old Indian name of some kind, probably means my sister is a cowardly old Indian. <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil. I... Let's see. A lake. A lake has got water and trees, and it's got lots of swimming. Well, there's nothing there that I shouldn't like, huh? Is there? What? You no. Know, I mean, everybody likes a nice lake. Why shouldn't I, huh? I like that other lake. What other lake? Kiki Padada. <laughs> hey. Kiki Padada and Sissy Manunu, they sound the same, huh? You think there'd be some connection there, Phil? Do you? Well, sure. My gosh, I haven't thought of Kiki Padada since I don't know when. I went there to camp when I was a kid. You think there might be some, something there, a clue, huh? You think so? Yeah. She was a beautiful camp between two great big mountains and a lion and a beautiful green bully. Valley. I said bully. We had this bully there at camp. You know something? I think every camp, before they open for the season, they put an ad in the paper that says, wanted 12 counselors and a bully. <laughs> I said, we had some great bully there. I remember at that camp, there were just a handful of canoes. I had to wait about a week before I finally got my turn at a canoe. I finally got my canoe, and then along comes this bully, and he kicked sand right in my face. And I tripped and flipped the canoe over and put my foot right through it. Oh, was just humiliated. I mean, not because I hurt the canoe, but I, I don't know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't fight back or anything. You know, I mean, he was two years older than me and built like a gymnasium. You know, he'd have probably killed me, but I just didn't feel like a man. I felt like a sissy. Sissy, man. Sissy, manunu. <laughs> That's everything except the nunu. Is that it? You think so? Why, of course. Aren't you excited? But that, it wasn't Laura at all. It was...
was that leg, isn't that it, Doc? Is it? Is it? Look, I'm sitting up. My backache's gone. It wasn't lore at all. It was psychological. Hey, I don't know, Rob. Come on, Phil. You're being too modest. You did it. <laughs> you got rid of my jobs, <laughs> my insecurities, my backache. The whole thing's gone in one ten-minute session. You're terrific, Phil. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> I think I better take another 10 minutes. Billy, if Rob finds out something that he's better off not knowing, I'll... Well, what could he find out? I don't know, but whatever it is, it could change our whole relationship. A little change never hurts. Listen, Billy, I will tell you this. I would rather have an erotic husband with a bad back who loves me than a well-adjusted one with a good back who doesn't. What? Never mind. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, hi, Billy. What'd you find out? Enough. It's me, isn't it? What did he say? Millie, would you do me a, a favor? Yeah, sure, Rob. What is it? Would, would you, uh, uh... You want something in the closet? No, no. Uh, uh, you want some outside? No. I, uh, you want me outside? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Laura. He found out something. Rob, you found out something. What did you find out? No, nope, no, nope, never mind. You're right. It's none of my business. Laura, you call me later and tell me what he found out. <laughs> Rob, what did he say? Sit down. It's me, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's me? Yes, and it's me, too. You, too? You yeah. mean it's us? It's both of us. You mean there's something wrong with us? Yes, something wrong with us. You mean we don't love each other? That's it. That we don't love each other? No, that you should ask such a stupid question of a husband who loves you and, and that you love. Wait, is that what Dr. Nevin said? No, that's what I said. Well, what did he say? <laughs> what he said doesn't matter. At least that's what he said. <laughs> Practically, he did say that my backache he didn't think was psychosomatic or psychological. He didn't think it was. Well, no, you see, uh, Dr. Nevins is laboring under, an, under a handicap because he's a trained psychiatrist and he can't be as sure of his diagnosis as we laymen who have nothing to lose. Did he say that? No, I said that. Well, didn't he say anything? He did say, he did say that uh, sometimes a backache is a backache and a rash is a rash and a coincidence is a coincidence. Well, then you mean Jerry is wrong? Oh, he did acknowledge that possibility, yes. <laughs> Honey, you and I are going up to that lake this weekend and we're going to have fun. Now, give me a kiss and then go start getting ready. Oh, Rob, that's wonderful. I'll pack your things. Good. And when you're finished with that, come out here and pack me. <laughs> Come in. Hi. Hi I saw your lights on. How was your weekend? Oh, was, we had a pretty good time considering. You want a cup of coffee? Yeah, I'd love some. How's your back? Not bad. I can almost get around normally now. <laughs> How did Laura like the place? Well, I, frankly, Millie, I think she hated it. Oh, you're kidding, of course. No, he's not. <laughs> what it could be. <laughs> what? This time it could be psychological. Jerry says oh, no. that every time I get back from vacation, I get sick. It's my way of rebelling against household drudgery. And he's right. And yours could be a psychosomatic, sympathetic pain, too, couldn't it? Yes, it could. And it also might be she fell off the porch carrying me down to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that might do it. <laughs> Would you like for me to make you a little cup of sasafras, please? <laughs> 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 <laughs>